Good morning, guys. It's Rob here. Um, I'm going to start a series where I'm going to start doing some tackle unboxings and what I'm going to use the tackle for out on Lake Altoona. Um, something for me, I just want to start. I want to start to try to do some new things this year, really just to push myself out of my comfort zone um, and just ultimately do some some new things that I'll enjoy, but then can also maybe pass on some information that I've learned. Uh, by no means am I an expert. Um, it's not at all what I'm saying when I'm going to do these videos, but I do want to try and pass on some of the information that I've learned specifically about fishing on Lake Altoona. Um, so I'm going to start doing some tackle unboxings, uh, but then also try to put out some weekly fishing reports about using some of the tackle that I'm going to go through in these tackle unboxings. So if you guys will, please like, subscribe to the videos. Um, any feedback that you guys can give me is greatly appreciated. Like if I can, if I can help, you know, somebody be able to go out and potentially catch their personal best fish out on Lake Altoona, that would mean the world to me. And so that's partly why I'm doing this is just to help give out information that's helped me be successful out on the water, but then ultimately just to, to try something new, you know, and, and kind of see what I like about, you know, putting out some content and putting out some videos where I can even go back and, and learn from the experience and have something to kind of uh, jog my memory when it comes to looking back on some things that I've, that I've used in the past. So again, definitely appreciate you guys watching if you take the time to watch this video. Um, today I've got a few boxes. I got some stuff from Tackle Warehouse. Um, and then I also got uh, a rod box here that I'll go through with you guys. One of my favorite rods was on sale. Um, and my wife actually ordered it for me for my birthday. So thank you so much um, for, for getting that for me. But we'll go through that. And then I'm going to go through a couple of other things that I've gotten within the past week or so that I really like. Um, so I'm going to start off with this. Um, I ordered the uh, Bass Tank uh, screen cleaner. I've tried some different screen cleaners in the past to use for my Garmin Life Scope and then my Hummingbird units. Um, I have just found just from taking this out one time that this screen cleaner works a lot better for me. They send you this specific microfiber towel to go with it. And I don't know if it's, you know, the cleaner or a combination of it and the towel, but it worked really good. It, it kept my screens really, really clean all day long. I just did it once in the morning when I first put the boat in. So definitely recommend you guys. It was on sale when I bought it. I think it's like 15 bucks uh, for this 16 ounce bottle, but it should last you a really long time. You know, you shouldn't have to use it every single trip based off what I saw there. Then the other thing that I uh, picked up last week was this new Daiwa Tatula Elite 100XS Reel. Um, I am a big Daiwa fan. I, I'm not somebody who's completely committed to one company when it comes to rods and reels. I use a little bit of everything, but over the last year, I have really fallen in love with the Tatula Reel series. Um, this is my first Tatula Elite. Um, just went ahead and you know bought the better quality one. I'm going to use this specifically for uh, jig rod, which is what I have over here in this rod box that I'm going to open up for you guys in a second. I wanted to order me something that I could use to fish a jig, you know, in that kind of more um, high end range, I would say, you know, I've, I've got multiple other jig rods, but I didn't really have a, a high end setup for jig fishing. And so I'm going to pair that to Tula elite with this new rod, which I'll go through with you guys in a second. Uh, but we'll run through the boxes first. I've got a little bit of a uh, few different things in here. There's actually some baits in here and a specific technique of bait in here that, um, I've yet to use. It's new to me. So if you guys watch this and you have used this technique, I would love to hear more feedback from you guys about your experience with it and, and, and how it's been. But let's get them open. So first off, we got us a couple Tackle Warehouse stickers. They actually threw some extras in there, surprisingly. Uh, don't really use those too often, but could come in handy. Um, so the first bait we're going to see here is going to be the Savage Gear Salamander. So this is going to be um, a Ned style bait, which, you know, if you fished out on Altoona in the wintertime, a Ned rig can be deadly at times. If you can get on um, 
that bite, you can not only catch a good quantity of fish, but also catch some better quality fish out there on the Ned Rig. Now, this is what I was talking about. I wasn't sure which box was gonna have this stuff in it, but what I'm really trying to get myself into is what is called BFS. Um, if you guys have heard of that, that is bait finesse system. And it's something that's came over from Japan. It's really big in the JDM market. And so that was something coming into this year that I really wanted to try. If you guys have followed some of the BFS stuff, um, you probably know that it's, at least it has been very hard to get the BFS reels because there's not many of them available. I do think over the next couple of years, it'll become a lot more highly available. I think it'll be something that a lot of people will start to use. But if you're not familiar with BFS, BFS is pretty much using a bait caster to finesse fish. You know, a lot of guys, you know, love using spinner reels, especially in the winter time when they're throwing those really small swim baits or small Ned rigs. Um, well, what they've done is they've created the ability to do finesse fishing, but do it on a bait caster for, for, for guys who really don't like throwing spinning reels. But from all the research I've done, it can also be a really effective, but also just a really fun way to fish. Pretty much any of the guys that you, that you hear talk about BFS, just talk about how much fun it is using, you know, this light action rod. You know, a lot of guys are using a zero action rod um, with the, you know, Shimano makes one, Daiwa make, makes one, but using the BFS reel. And I actually did order the uh, Shimano BFS reel. It just hasn't came in yet. I'm hoping it comes in by the end of the week, but I'm going to use that BFS reel. And actually it could be in this box. I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll open it up in a second, but I'm going to use that BFS reel. I ordered a Shimano X pride medium light action rod that I'm going to pair it with. And I'm going to use that rod to throw Ned rigs, also smaller swim baits. Um, you know, and I'm going to use some of those smaller finesse techniques, but on that, you know, bait casting rod and reel setup. And um, again, very new for me, but I'll kind of go through this, th go through this with you guys. So I ordered the Savage Gear Salamander. Um, it's a really good Ned Rig bait in general. So I'm gonna, I'm, I ordered some of those to be able to throw on the BFS rod and reel. Some TRD bugs. Obviously, you know, most people have heard of Z-Man. Um, I really like this TRD bugs on a Ned Rig. The other cool thing about BFS that you can do is it sounds crazy, but from what I've heard, you can actually flip um, on the BFS setup. You can take like a small 16th ounce weight um, and put it on a small hook and then take like a, a TRD bugs like this. And you can use like seven and eight pound fluorocarbon and flip into shallow cover with that uh, setup. And, you know, again, it sounds crazy. I have no experience with it yet, so I'm looking forward to learn. But from what I've heard, it can be a very effective technique when the fish are highly pressured, which, you know, over the past few years fishing on Altoona, uh, the pressure is definitely higher than it's been in the past. And so this is something I'm gonna probably use once the water temps come up a little bit this spring. I'm gonna take, you know, one of these TRD bugs and I'm going to put it on a small, you know, really small, like a one-aught flipping hook and use like a 16-ounce weight. And I'm going to come into some of that shallow color cover and I'm going to flip it in there and see if I can get bit on it. So we ordered a few of those uh, just in a few different colors. Obviously, green pumpkin, uh, the Canada crawl. So green pumpkin with like a little bit of like an orange and red flake. Uh, black and blue, if I can get into a little bit of a dirtier water situation. And then mud bug, which is, you know, a really good classic Z-Man color. And then spray grass, um, one of my favorite colors specifically for Altoona, especially when that water uh, color clears up some. Um, then I have a bunch more of the salamanders. Um, so we got some green pumpkin. Um, this color is also a mud bug color that um, Savage Gear makes. Same thing, another mud bug. Um, I think this one's just another green pumpkin. And just order some different colors there. I think I got a black and blue there as well. 
um, and then another green pumpkin as well. So just ordered you know, a bunch of different ones of those. Now actually down here in the bottom, I wasn't sure if that was in there or not, but here are those one-aught rigging hook that I talked about. So this is what I'm gonna use to take that BFS rod and reel and those TRD bugs. And I'll probably use the salamanders as well. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pair it with a 16 ounce weight. And I ordered this seven pound uh, Super FC Sniper specifically to use on that setup. So um, I'll be really interested to see how it works. Uh, it sounds honestly crazy because you're so used to flipping heavy cover using, you know, a big heavy action rod, you know, heavy fluorocarbon or even heavy braid sometimes and just horsing those fish out. But from what I've heard, you can take, you know, seven pound fluoro and you know put it on there with a 16th ounce weight and that one knot rigging hook um, this is specifically an owner rigging hook and then take one of those trd bugs and flip it up in there and when you you know you set the hook on them you're not horsing them out like you typically would flipping you know you're just basically putting pressure and then letting those fish kind of come out of the cover to you and then at that point you know you can work them into the boat so that's what came in this box uh, this was pretty much all the BFS stuff that I ordered. Um, let's see what's in this one. Okay, so I wasn't sure what was going to come in here, but here it is, the Shimano Curato BFS XG. So again, this is designed specifically to take, um, you know, little bitty small baits, small finesse baits that you wouldn't normally be able to cast well on a bait caster. And from what I've heard, you can take those little bitty baits and, you know, like I said, flip with them, but then also take um, like a small swim bait or even like really, really micro crank baits and with this shallower spool system and the way that shimano has this built is you can take this bfs reel and just bomb cast those small baits using really light fluorocarbon so um, out of the package my first looks at it honestly the reel looks great um, it's a smaller profile which for me being a bigger guy sometimes isn't you know i ideal but i really do like the feel and i will tell you this just from the first touch of this this reel is super light um you know much lighter than any of my other uh curados or even the tatula elites so i'm excited about it honestly guys this is something for me that i've been waiting to do this reel was back ordered for months last year because this is a technique that's becoming really popular uh, especially on some of the professional circuits, but guys just are not talking about it very much. I think people are trying to kind of keep it quiet, but I do think in the next year or two, um, this is going to be something that a lot of people are doing because everybody loves throwing finesse baits. Everybody loves throwing those small baits, especially with the amount of pressure, like I said. So being able to take, you know, a bait caster and do that is going to really be, um, I hate saying this because it's used so often, but I think it'll be a game changer. I think guys will be able to take this and um, be successful, but also, like I said, just have a ton of fun. You know, the guys, I've actually heard Tactical Bass and talk about this so much about how much fun they have going out, even catching, you know, a pound to two pound fish on this really, really light gear is just some of the most fun that they've ever had bass fishing. So um, obviously it'd be awesome to be able to catch a big one doing this. It'd be a lot of fun, but just being able to go out there and catch those fish on that light action rod, uh, which again, I ordered the Shimano X Pride. I'll probably do a follow-up video to this where I talk about the combo together once I get it all put together. Uh, it's just not the, the Shimano X Pride's not in yet. But I'm going to pair, again, this Curato BFS XG with a Shimano X Pride. It's a 7.2 medium light. So I think it's like a one action rod, uh, either a one or a two action. And again, I'm going to try to use it for a little bit of everything. Um, I know there's guys that, um, I know Dobbins makes a zero action in their Sierra series. And I know a lot of guys are taking this Curato BFS and pairing it with that 
uh, zero power rod to throw little bitty small, you know, small 2.8 Kitex with like a, you know, an eighth or a 16th ounce head, um, small, you know, little bitty small micro crank baits when the bait fish is really small. But I'm going to try to use this to do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, ultimately I'd love to be able to take this set up and be able to flip with it. I think that would just be a really cool bite to get on and it would be a lot of fun to catch them. Uh, but there it is guys, the Shimano Curado BFS XG. Like I said, first touch in my hand. Um, honestly, I love it. So I'll be really excited to be able to spool this up and put it on that X pride once it comes in. Um, I also ordered, uh, some new, uh, rod sleeves, you know, anytime I order rods from Tackle Warehouse, I go ahead and pick a few of these up uh, just because they typically will give you a discount on it. Um, so we'll stick this in there. And then lastly, we're going to open up this rod box. Now, this is going to be a little tricky. I'll have to get you guys to, to bear with me here while I pull this out. I wanted to wait uh, before I opened it up so you guys could actually see that uh, the unboxing. Um, so one thing that I have definitely fell in love with over the past year or so, um, and it's become a staple in my fishing game is Dobbins rods. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Dobbin, Dobbins rods, I would definitely encourage you guys to go out and pick one up and give it a try. Dobbins makes, um, you know, a bunch of really good lines. I do for like, for people who don't want to go out and spend the money on uh, like a champion HP, like what I have here uh, or the other champion series, which comes in, I think at around 280 bucks. Um, I would highly um, recommend the Fury series, uh, the Dobbins Fury series. I think they started around 120 bucks and honestly the bang for buck on that rod especially uh one that i really like is the, the 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 swim bait rod that they have in the fury series if you're just getting into big swim bait fishing um that's just a great rod to pick up and then i really like some of their spinning rods in the fury series too but when it comes to the champion series in my opinion the the bang for buck that you get in that champion series is very hard to beat. The sensitivity is so good. Um, the build of this rod is unbelievable. And so um, I'm gonna take this out for you guys so you can see it. So again, I ordered this rod specifically for uh, jig fishing. Um, like I talked about, I have a lot of jig setups. Obviously throwing a jig is something that I really enjoy doing, but I didn't have a high-end setup. So what this is, this is uh, the Dobbins Champion Extreme HP, and this is the 745. So this is going to be a 7 foot 4 uh, mag heavy fast action. Um, I am going to use this specifically for throwing jigs out on Lake Altoona. I wanted something that I could take and throw, you know, anywhere from a 3.8 up to a one ounce jig, whether that be a football jig, uh, a ball head, like a Picasso um, little spotty, um, something that I can throw out there and fish deep on those main lake points, some secondary points, um, or even, even like a, out on some deeper humps or in brush piles in the summertime. And again, this is my first um, high-end jig rod, but from talking to some other guys that I know that are really big into Dobbins rods like I am, uh, this was the one that they all highly recommended just to be able to, to, to use for pretty much any jig application that I want to use it on. I actually have a couple guys I know that use this as a um, swim jig rod. Um, I personally don't throw a swim jig a ton. It's something that I'm definitely working on. But from what I've heard, this Dob is this Dobbin 745 um, is really universal when it comes to jig fishing. So again, out of the box, I love the way it feels. It is super light to be a mag heavy, uh, which makes sense. Again, when you pair this with the um, Tatula Elite, uh, which I think this rod... Um, 
it's over $300, I know for sure, the cost of the rod. Again, I was able to get it when it was on sale. I think Tackle Warehouse had it on sale for uh, like $279. And then the Tatula Elite is a $250 reel. So when you pair these two things together, this is over a $500 combo, which for me um, is definitely more than I typically spend. But again, I have so many rod and reel setups. What I'm trying to do now is order you know, a high end setup for some of those baits that I really throw more often. And a jig is just something that I love to throw. And so I wanted something high end where if I'm fishing it deep out of out over those points, whether that be a main lake point, secondary point, a deep brush pile, something like that, you know, something that's gonna give me a lot of sensitivity, but then enough backbone to be able to get that fish out of there once I set the hook. So definitely super excited about pairing these two things together uh, i think what i'll do out of the gate is i'm gonna either put um like a 15 pound fluoro is what i'll probably start out with um, i've really grown to love the um uh 15 pound tatsu that uh Seaguar makes. I think the Tatsu line is hard to beat. It's again, it's more expensive. You're going to spend more money on it, but um, I just find myself not retying as much and not worrying as much if I'm fishing in those brush piles or you know banging that jig up against those rocks. Uh, I just think the Tatsu is worth the money because of the quality of the line. So um, again, I'll probably start off pairing this with like a 15 pound Tatsu and I'm gonna use it some this winter fishing a jig out on those main lake points uh, along bluff walls, which is obviously you know a staple on Lake Altoona in the winter time. And then like I said, I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna get some, some film of me out actually using this on the lake. And then I'll give you guys like a review of this setup as well. So again, just recapping guys, uh, I got the Bass Tank screen cleaner, uh, highly recommend that, works really well. The Tatula Elite 100 XS that I'm gonna pair with this Dobbin 745 Champion Extreme HP. Um, I ordered some of the BFS stuff. Again, really excited about putting this stuff to use. Again, the Curato BFS XG. Super excited about being able to use that this spring. And then a bunch of the BFS baits as well as the uh, the uh, the hooks that go with that as well. Only thing I'm waiting on now, since I was getting this again, is the BFS, uh, the uh, Shimano X-Pride medium light. And then I also have some 16th ounce tungsten weights that I ordered for those as well. So excited to give you guys an update on that. I appreciate you you know sticking with me on this and, and watching the whole video if you have. And again, if you guys will, please like, subscribe. I'm going to start putting these videos out more often and would definitely appreciate any feedback, but then also any other uh, tips or tricks, especially if you guys have used some of this gear. Um, to me, this is all about, you know, having a community that, you know, will, you know, not necessarily give out, you know, every secret in the world, but just help each other be able to go out and be successful on the water. Um, for me, you know, I'm, I still consider myself, you know, an amateur angler. I'm learning every single day. I, I spend a lot of time taking in content. And so if I could take, you know, the little bit of information that I know and be able to pass it on to somebody else, um, you know, that's the whole reason behind me doing this and ultimately trying something new. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, we'll see you guys again soon.